Hi everyone, this is the Duke Parenting Podcast. My name is Brian Suleiman. And my name is Linda Ijafo Suleiman. And we have our friends here. Woo! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> See, that's why they're here. Welcome. Hello Titi. Hello Titi. I make the decisions in my head, which is where it matters the most. <laughs> you know, but meanwhile, people know that this man of the house thing is total. Is is, is, is a scam. Is a scam. Is a huge scam. <laughs> so, fellow men, fellow men, let me tell you something. The truth of the matter is. This that whole man of the house issue is a scam. It is a is a bloated title to make you feel like you are involved in some way. But Papa, biggest you're scam glorified. ever, man. You're a glorified house boy. <laughs> Go ahead, errand no. runner. No, you are just there to do the bidding of everybody in your household, including your child. Oh, baby, you're Don't tell me that, my friend. Oh, wow. These people will now use this voice that she just tried to use. But guys, it's I block her. I block I don't, I block it. Because... Yeah, what about when I rob your bedded for See, that's shit. that's the thing. That's Measure the thing. You. Ah, Baba, don't, don't, give don't give me. Don't give me. Ah. Ah. Our leader don't give me. I got you. Pleasure. Ah. It's a lie. See, I got you. Don't, you. you don't See, give me. No. Yeah. When, she, when, she, when she tries to Please. rob your chest, you know, and tries to get you to, to soften your, your approach... And 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 lose guard and not set your your. Exactly. Don't give in. Don't, oh, don't give in. in. Don't give in. <laughs> don't give in. <laughs> collect the keys. Collect the keys. <laughs> don't give in. Oh but my god. I love your shirt though. I shouldn't have worn this t-shirt. <laughs> this is the last t-shirt I should have worn ever on this whatever because I am I'm jaded because it hides my chubby cheeks. What chubby chicks? Maybe you don't have any chubby chicks, but I love the t-shirt though. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. It says bearded for her pleasure. And children will watch this thing. They will not be asking. Anyway, parents, your children will ask you questions. I hope you can answer about this t-shirt. Anywho, um, hi everyone. My name is Ibrahim Suleiman. This is Linda Jovo Suleiman. And you are watching another episode of the Dual Parenting Podcast. Thank you so much for everything you guys have done for us so far. Um, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. And just giving us feedback that lets us know that the things that we're talking about, which we think are important, are also important to you as well. We yeah. appreciate it. Because you get many things where they don't tell us before we bump key. And even as a man, I went through it. So as much as this beautiful young lady here stresses my soul, I have a lot of respect for her because... Wow. Wow, babe. Stresses your soul. And my body. In a good way. You're a, you're a nasty child, and I'm so proud of you. Okay, so yes, thank you for joining us today. Um, this episode um, is titled "Living Without Your Child." Just by just the mere thought of living, you know, separately or apart from Kion, it 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 crushes me. But that's the reality of quite a number of parents um, that we know. Um, sometimes it's due to economical reasons, you know, work, um, job opportunities, all of that. And it's never easy, regardless of what the, the reason is, it is never easy. And um, we have this really lovely young lady with us. Um, she's also a YouTuber, by the way. So yes. we'll put her information in the, in the description so you can check out her channel and everything. And she's here to share her story, the things that she has learned. Um, basically, Sha, she's going to give us the, the tea. Yeah. For those who are in the same or might find themselves in the same situation, mm -hmm. she's here to just tell us. Oh, focus, just... focus, focus, dear. Anyway, she's here to tell us um, her experiences and how she handled it. Maybe you can learn one or two things from her. So we'll let her introduce herself. Yes. Yes, yes. There, there's a way she's going to introduce herself. Yes. Carry on. <laughs> She says, hi, everyone. My name is Ibidumi Osho. Hello. What is the last yeah. name? Hi. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> so as you can tell, she's a K-drama. She's K-pop, K-drama. Yes. Generally, Korean culture. She's a huge fan of theirs. Um, do you speak Yoruba as well? Yes, I do. Do you speak Hausa? No, it's just Yoruba, English. Do you speak Pidgin? 
Yes, on and off. I'm not very good with Pigeon, but I try. I'm, I'm disappointed. In fact, Apologies. on this show, half of it, we're going to start speaking Pigeon. Okay. Because we're losing our roots. Ah, like, what roots? Pigeon is not our roots now. It is. It is. It is more our roots than... English? Than Korean. Oh. How are you? I mean, I just hate it. Exactly. <laughs> did, he, did he smile like he... Like he <laughs> She's like proud he of cast. herself. She's so excited about this. Okay, okay, let's let's just. Oh, I was against this <laughs> liar. She's trying um, to she's trying to to keep the rest of the world from enjoying what she's enjoying. Mm. Mm. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. Mm. Ibi Jumni, can I just call you Ibi? It's fine. Ibi works. Ibi works. Fantastic. Well, what does, well, well, what does Ibi Jumni mean? Ibi Jumni. Okay, so Jumni on um, like yeah. a word Duni. by itself is like something that you're happy to have, oh. and Ibi in your is birth. So it's like, oh. oh, I'm happy to have this child. Oh, oh. Ibi Duni. No. no, I'm changing it. I'll call you Ibi Duni. <laughs> so Ibi Duni, yes. tell us, how did you find out you were pregnant? And how uh, old were you? Mm, I was 19. How did I find out? Oh, yeah. It was one of, okay, so it was, my school was on strike at the time. <laughs> I'm laughing because... Around that period, you know, there were tweets about how some girls will come back after this <laughs> public holiday and say they're pregnant. <laughs> uh, this is strike, sorry. And say they're pregnant. And I had just found out like a week before those tweets started going around. Whoa. So it, it was a bit now, it was not a bit funny, but obviously not also funny. <laughs> that, it was like the universe knew. Do you get? So um, how did I find out? So, okay. Before I got pregnant, I used to work out a lot. So I had abs. Hey, so on. it barely showed, right? But then my grandma, may her so rest in peace, she knows me. She raised me. So she knew something was off. Mm. So she kept on saying, Ianu, my Yoruba name is, my other Yoruba name is Ianu. She's like, Ianu, your stomach, she kept saying it in Yoruba, is big. <laughs> What's going on? I, I was just like, eh, I used to eat late night food in school. So, you know, it's showing. But at the point, I started paying attention to myself. Wait, wait, though. I haven't seen my period. No, I was seeing my period on myself. I was seeing my period. You were? I saw my period four months into my pregnancy. This, why does this happen? It's crazy. <laughs> 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 you guys, wait, <laughs> Baby, wait, we're well, not ready. <laughs> Baby! Remember that day that you... Mm. <laughs> Period, but my body is doing somehow. Oh. Hey, Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> God. To be honest, God. that was exactly how it was, right? So I was seeing my period, but I just felt like something was off. My stomach wasn't going smaller. And this is me that I used to have very, very flat stomach. So I decided to do a test. And then I did, it was a strip test. I did the first one. It was positive. I did not, I did not even, like, I didn't even, so the kind of person I am, um, I... I process things a lot over and over again. So I'm like, nah, it's probably Elijah. Mm -hmm. So I called my friends because <laughs> I was raised in Ibadan, right? So this time I was in Ibadan. So I called my friends in Lagos and I'm like, um, this, is, this is what grandma said. And then I did a test and then it's positive. And then they're like, let's do it again. So I went about four street <laughs> tests and then I did it again. And it was, I remember very vividly every single thing. And then it was, I was like, it was positive, positive. I was like, hey God, where do I start? And, Bear in mind, my mom was a single mom. Oh. So it was like my world was crashing down. Like my brain was like, what am I going to do? How am I going to tell my mom? What's going to happen? My mom barely beats me. She wasn't the kind of, she was an African mom, but she wasn't those, the very toxic type. You, could, you can tell that everything she does is out of love. Mm. So I feel like that was what scared me the most. And the way she raised me, Usually, if before I do something, I always just ask myself subconsciously, if my mom found out that I did this thing, would she be happy? Mm. So that was what crushed me the most. Like, how would I tell her? And then what grandma was saying is actually true. So that was how I found out that, oh, yeah, I was really pregnant. And then I went and did this scan, even before telling my mother. I went and did this scan. And they, they said there was really, really a baby. <laughs> that was really, really a baby. Listen, I was and, and crazy because I still didn't believe it until she kicked for the first time. No, no way. No, I was in denial. We how can I be pregnant? Why? It how? said why. <laughs> like it didn't just it didn't just make sense. Like it was not the plan at all. Eh? Me that had master. Me, I'm I'm such a plan. I had master plan. <laughs> okay, so how <laughs> did you tell your mom? Huh? Who did you tell first? Your mom or your grandma? 
my mom. I told okay. I'm not telling my grandma. <laughs> The person that suspected from the beginning. So she not said that what she saw is what's here. I didn't tell her. So um, what happened was when I found out again, I told my friend and then I told her because like I said, the way she raised me, mm. I told my friend, I'm coming to Lagos. She said, you're coming to do what? Mm-hmm. What are you coming to do? And I'm like, you don't understand my mother. My mother wasn't the type of of parent that used to beat me. Mm. But if she looks at you... You can feel yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. disappointment. The you will pray yes. that the floor should just open. You should just enter inside. So I told her, I'm moving to Lagos. She's like, <laughs> you're moving to what? You don't even have a house. You don't even have money. Where was your mom? We were in the battle together. My mom was working nine to five at mm. the time. So I was always at home. Like, because I was on, um, on a strike, I was always, always at home. So my friend said, no, that I should tell my mom. I said, no, I'm not in house. So this is, this is like... Three, four days after we were found out. Mm. Then she spoke to her own mom. And her mom told her to tell me to tell my mom mm-hmm. that no matter what, yeah. that my mom would still accept. I'm like, you don't understand. You don't know my I mother. Know. Accept what? She will chase me back to Lagos. Mom, I lost you. In Yoruba, mom, I lost you. I bridge last, last. In English, it means I will sleep under the bridge last, last. Because <laughs> the image my mom gave me of herself mm. was very, I don't take nonsense. Mm-hmm. But she doesn't have to say it. Yeah. With her demeanor, you can yeah. tell. So we planned a way for me to tell her. So they told me, <laughs> they told me to text her when she was at work that we had a conversation. So I texted her while she was at work. That mommy, when you come back, cool, we have a conversation. <sighs> hey, I remember very vividly. We had just eaten moi moi and bread. Mm-hmm. And we were in the living room. Uh, this time, she, I think she just had my brother, no, my sister. So even she was a new mom. Oh, oh man. Exactly. So, um, so I'm there looking at, so like we finished eating, I packed the plates. Foolish of me. It was, I gave the bread we had. So this knife that she used to cut the bread was still beside her <laughs> when she was sitting. And I was on the other side. So my grandma went to her room. And then I was like, mommy, I want to tell you something. And I was shaking, obviously, she could tell. Mm-hmm. And then I was shaking. And then I was crying. And she's like, just say it. What is it? What could it be? And I'm like, my boy. Eh? I was sh- to the oh. core. Mommy, Motiloni, I said to Yoruba. Hi. I just have good She first froze. And then she picked the knife beside her. No. And then she was like, I will stab you, stab myself. <laughs> So I was yeah, we'll be dead. And I'm like, so at that point, I was not even remembering myself. I was like, who's going to raise mm. my this sister? Is. Like, I was just like, who's going to raise my siblings? If you, I was so, <laughs> so I was telling her that she should kill me, mm. but she should not kill herself. <laughs> that is. I was saying that she should kill me, and you know, it's crazy because like these things were ha- were like real life, and I thought I was going to like I thought I was going to die. Like that was like the only thing on my mind because it just didn't make sense how I would put such a burden on mm. her. You know, so I was just like, she can kill me, but she should just leave, you know, herself so that she can raise my siblings. And she starts wielding the knife. And she's like, do I think she's joking? Do I think she's actually... I, I mean, my mom used to shout, but there's a, there was a different tempo to mm. that shout. That day. She's like, do I think she's joking? And she was saying to Yoruba, she's going to stab me. I was, going to, I was just like, okay, can you please just drop the knife at least? I just started crying. I was wailing. Obviously, my grandma now came out. The of grandma course. that we said she's not here. She's not the one that I came to send to the fight. And my grandma comes out and she's like, what's going on? Why are we shouting? My mom just goes, oh, do you Can you imagine? Oh, do you Ah. That night was How wild. old were you at this point? 18. 18? 18. So it was like, I was almost 19, <sighs> mm-hmm. right? So like my mom just, just kept on shouting, like, what do I expect her to do? Where would she start? Like, she just barely, you know, she just barely raised me. And she's trying to raise my sibling. And then I'm now here, like, and the crazy thing was, they wanted me to go to UI. Mm. But I didn't want to go because, like, my I, the kind of spirit I have, I am not the most bubbly person, mm. but I like being around good energy. Mm. So I was like, Ibono is dead. Ibono is boring. Let me go to Lego. So she called the talk, say, eh? Yeah, so the that's Lagos why. that you wanted to go. <laughs> you know, still went. I still went and got because it was 100 level. You need lag? Yes. Damn. So it didn't make sense that the Lagos that you said you wanted to go, that's not where you now went. I now still came and got pregnant. So like this went on for like another 
45 minutes and then my mom just calmed what did grandma say <laughs> grandma eh, she was saying to your brother eh, there's really nothing we can do at this point i'm already pregnant so my mom so she she just went calm for a while and then she was like i should leave her sight so i left I went to the the house we were living then had a long corridor to the mm. kitchen so the walk it was a like walk of shape so i walked to the kitchen and i just stayed there and then i think i heard her call my stepdad and then i don't like calling him my stepdad because he's a good man so she called my dad and he he i think he spoke to her but from i went to the door and i was mm. hearing him tell her um if she's reacting like that how does she think i'm handling Mm. You know, finding out. Oh. So I think that was what made her calm down. Because mm. I heard him telling her that, that Toban, if you are reacting like this, how do you think she's feeling mm. on the inside of another at such a young age? Mm. She's pregnant. So she calmed down. She cried. Oh. She, she was just wailing in her room. Because she'll be thinking that, you know. My mom, my mom, the way my mom is, she's such a multitasker. So I could imagine how her mind must have been mm. racing back and forth. So she calls me back into the room and she's like, how am I doing? I'm like, <laughs> how do you think? <laughs> that reaction, it did not make sense because you just wanted to stab me now. So, and then you're calling me back and telling me how I, she's like, how are you? I'm like, uh, how are you? And then she goes, and she answer her face. And I'm like, I don't know that, I, like, all I care about is like, how, what are we going to do? And she's like, I should be asking you that. What, what do I want to do? Do I want to keep it? I'm like, honestly, I don't want to keep it. What she did not know was that I tried to remove it. Mm. But it didn't work out. Mm. So that's why I gave her the name I gave her. I was like, because I tried, I tried. <laughs> so, so I told I so I told her, I was like, well, I actually tried to, but this thing did not work. And what did mom say? She so was just like, we don't have a choice. Can I get tissue, please? <laughs> Let's just hold it, just in case. Just in case of... you, you need a hair. I know I know you would need it. Being a mom, or not, not, let me not start with being a mom. I have, I have a friend who, her mom was a single mom as well. And she, if she's hearing this, I won't call her name because she might just know that she's the one. Um, and she, she fell in love, um, met this guy and they, they had a child outside wedlock. And what just kept going through her mind was that this wasn't what her mom wanted for her mm. because she felt like she has disappointed her mom and that she wanted to make her mom proud by that. She just didn't want to feel, make it feel like this is a family thing that you just, yeah, but, yeah. I'm sure that was what was going through your mind and through your mother's mind. But, um, by God's grace, my friend now is married to the same guy. That they have really? With, yeah. With oh. two kids now. Oh. So that's nice. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. But it was bumpy. Yeah, it was bumpy. Before they finally, you know, sorted it was bumpy. Of yeah. Course. But yeah, sorry. But, but the, those were the things that was going through her mind. She just didn't want to have that same, oh, it this happened to my yeah, mother and yeah, it's happening, happening to me to now. Me. So I'm sure. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. please continue. Yeah, and then she just asked me what I want to do. I'm like, I don't know. That let's just, you know, so, so Popsy called back and he just told her that she knows that he knows that because of the kind of person she is. She wants to sort everything that same night. Yeah. So we're just like, we should sleep. And then the next day, into the following weeks, we would figure out what to do. And that was just that was the reaction. And from there we just decided we're gonna keep the baby. Because the baby refused to even leave you safe. <laughs> <laughs> What's her beautiful name? Oh her name is Tiolu Alashe. In your in English it means God's your like it's like saying your will is my command. Ah, uh, okay. So, okay. Like, Tiolu Alashe, like what God God what God says is, is final. Yeah. yeah. So how was your pregnancy journey throughout? Hmm. So you know, like I said, I didn't believe I was pregnant until the first day she kicked. So when how she many months? Kicked, this how many months? Was, this was like so. Five months yeah. into just the butterfly feeling, you know, and then uh, to be fair, it was it was a good pregnancy because mm. I didn't. And that's the thing. That's why I didn't know. I didn't vomit. I didn't spit. Right. My legs were not swollen. My nose was nothing. It was so interesting. My, my stomach wasn't even that big. I remember <laughs> one time when my friend's mom, who was like she was in masters in Unilab too, because I went back to school and I made sure to finish. So. Mm. Well done. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. So I remember that day. She hugs me and she's hugging me mm -hmm. and my stomach is poking her. Mm -hmm. She didn't know. My friend didn't tell her that I was pregnant. And then she goes, 
Why is your stomach not going inside? And I'm like, mom, you got some pregnant. And she screams. You won't believe what she screamed. She goes, ah, I thought you were a virgin. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Listen, if you know University of Lagos, this was around, hey, what's the name of this? It was one exam all like that where like, it takes no a lot of way. people. So she had just finished exams. So other students were coming out. So she just screams, I thought you were a virgin. Oh my And people just look in our direction like, oh my God. And I'm just there like, well, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Ta-da. And I'm just like, surprise, I'm pregnant. So like the whole pregnancy thing for me was very, very smooth, I'd say. Um, I think the only time I had a scare was one time I fell like down the stairs. And I, to be fair, because of what I had seen, I thought maybe my back, my back would break or something, but nothing happened. There was nothing. It was it was a very smooth pregnancy, yeah. to be very honest. Like she came and the delivery. So easy. It was painful though, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> it was painful though. But um she was a very I mean, I know I started um labor at about 10 p.m. and then she came out like 6 a.m. or something. Okay. Before six. Yeah? Okay. Maybe some people do 48 <laughs> hours. What did you say? Did he? You said you enter asking the question. Was, yes, um, did you go back to Ibadan or you know, like, Okay, so oh, right. no, so um, came back to school. So after I like, find out I was pregnant and all, um, then then school resumes. Hmm. Then I had to resume school with pregnancy. That one was like, another oh, man. another experience. You know, people in school talking about like people in my class, my classmates talking about me. Like, oh, they didn't know I was, you know, you I was moving that yeah, way. Yeah, and it was crazy <laughs> because my, all my friends at the time, all of us were virgins. And I was only was already doing bad thing, but they did not know. So that was like the proof that oh, so yeah, I have seen <laughs> you know. So, um, so like school ah, oh, why am I saying pregnancy was pregnancy wasn't that easy? I remember now exams. Oh. That was like my souvenir. Forgetfulness. Oh yes, brain. yes, the pregnancy brain. You tend to forget I, every single thing. Oh, it continues after. It, uh, that's continue. That's a souvenir. <laughs> that's a souvenir. I still have it to yeah. today. Yeah. Like, and oh. I remember because um, I don't know how I graduated. I don't even know how I finished. Because like, I would read, hey, me, me, I have a photographic memory. So like, I can continue just reading the lines and staring at the book. I almost like to remember how I wrote what mm. I wrote on my page. Um, uh, I don't know about Jack. I don't even know how. I, to be honest, it was just good. Because I don't know how. Like, I would read stuff now, stare at it. And my friends, because obviously they knew that I was pregnant. So they were always trying to read around me, make sure that I read and all that. But I just kept on forgetting stuff. But for some reason, thankfully, I finished. Um, you had good friends. That, oh, see, listen. If I, if I don't emphasize anything, the friends got placed in my life. Ah, that's impressive. That's that's is that's rare. Very, it's rare. Good. Oh, had very good friends. Um, all her friends. We just want to say thank you. So, babe, Anna, she's so faith. I mean, I'm so rest in peace. I had mm. good friends. Like they would fight for me. Like if. They heard somebody talking about me in class. They would come for the person. <laughs> it was crazy because like you knew. Yeah. Because of my friends, you knew you couldn't mess with me. That's that's amazing. And it was also crazy because like they would spend their money taking care of me. Why are you taking mm. care of me? No be me go carry me. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you guys why are you guys buying me you got and just making sure that I had eaten? Because they so because I'm naturally a I know how to hide stuff a lot. Mm. They would, they could tell when I didn't have money and I didn't ask them, you know. So they would just come back from class and bring food. Aww. I'm like, I didn't ask you now. Yeah. Like, no, be you. We know. <laughs> you know that you don't know, but they were smuggling me. So I was there. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I had really good people. Like, oh, I had really good people that they don't have to ask me for their place in my life. Mm. They know. Like, they just know that. And I think also, I'd say that because of them, because obviously my baby daddy wasn't in, in the, the picture. picture. Yeah, yeah, I was going to ask. So because of them, well, right? <laughs> that's another conversation. So because <laughs> of them, you know, it was, I'd say it was easy. And I think that's why I don't even remember how hard it was mm. because they were, they were always around. They were always there, you know. So even going through school and um, going through school was like fairly now easier. 
Thank you. Mm-hmm. Going through school was now fairly easier, you know, because of that. I'd say like the only major thing I struggled with, like I said, was like the forgetfulness. <laughs> and then um I finished school. I I but but obviously like I had to come back to Lagos for school. Mm-hmm. But when um when it was time to have my baby, because my stomach wasn't very, very big, I was still able to go to class, I was still able to do certain things. And then I can't remember when exactly I went back home, but I know I went back home at, at least a month before mm. I had my daughter. And, and, and all this while your mom was always checking up on you? Always. 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 Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> she would not check. Yeah. <laughs> my mother, she got, it's crazy now because they are best of guys. Mm. Oh. That's, it, always, yeah? it always turns out like that. They are best of guys. My, my mom, I know. And my mom, yeah, she's such, a, she's such a blessing to my life. It's unbelievable. Anyway, so I went back home and then I had to go back to Ipado to because i was in antenata on and off mm. during the um strike okay. but then and i had to like shuffling lagos and ibadan because i wanted to make sure that i finished um um 200 level to a mm. point mm. and then i came back home and just stayed and I, I stayed for longer than a month i'm sure and i just stayed had my baby um then did i think i how many, how many months i think i did three months at home mm. before i now went back That's to school cool. so Everything it was in my favor to be to be to be. Oh, no, that's to be right. Do you get? Because everything was just like the timing was just so good that I didn't. I only had to defer a semester in school. Awesome. Do you get? Awesome. So I just came back to two hundred level. Um, I mean, not see how many semesters again. Second mm, semester. Second semester. <laughs> second semester. <laughs> and then I came back to oh, level boy. second semester. I just continued life. My daughter came with me. That was another like dramatic episode, and then I had to, to I brought her to school. Yes, wow. And then we now felt like we had to like leave her with my mom to to start taking care of her from there. Okay. Um. Before we go to how your daughter started living with your mom, I wanted yeah. to ask, did you ever tell your baby daddy? Oh, I did. Uh, how did that go? Oh. <sighs> okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. So the thing is, I don't. I'm not a fan of painting people bad. Mm, mm. Um, like even if like if me and somebody broke up, there were good times too. Yeah. That's like that's how I my mean, mind. We're with them for a reason. Do you understand? So, I would I wouldn't I'm not but I'm, I'm also not a fan of giving people excuses, mm. right? I'm team. Do what you're supposed to do, and then move on. If you're not able to do it, then okay, it was beyond your power. So, um, how did I tell him, sis? I think it was it was that time when I was still doing tests here and there. Then I told him. Sorry. It was a school thing. Uh, hey. Hmm. Hmm. Was it a school thing? Hey, Jesus Christ. He was not a, he was not a, uh, a student. Okay. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the crazy thing. I didn't oh, you know. didn't know he was not a student. I didn't oh, know. Oh, he was one of those guys that used to be on be campus on camp- and you, you know, they, some of them go to class. I like, didn't know. I, you know, I had guys like that. I didn't know. Oh. And yeah. and then it was it was very close to when I got pregnant that he now even told me that he had another child already. Wow. Wow, exactly. Wow. What? Yes. So I had I, I felt like um I just knew when I was when I found out I was pregnant, I just knew I didn't want to raise a child with this person. Yeah. But um everything now like came out of my control because I tried to maybe, maybe say you know they come out. So and I had to like tell him I'm like you know we've tried, mm-hmm. and this baby doesn't want to go anywhere. And um, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep the baby. And he goes, "Is that what you want to do?" I remember we had a we had a one very very heated argument. I remember because I was walking to go and buy stuff that day when we were having that conversation, you know. And he was like, "Yeah, whatever I want to do." <laughs> I said, "Don't put, don't mm-hmm. throw me yeah. like that." What do you mean by whatever I want to do? It was it's both of us. Do you understand? Like, what do what would you advise that we do? And then I'll tell you what I think we should. And then he goes, "And hey, whatever you want." And uh, really, okay. I want to keep the baby. It's not like I want to, but I have to keep the baby. So, and I'm not going to endanger my life. Exactly. That's that's to try yeah. and remove it again because you don't want a baby. So I'm just going to keep the baby. So he's like, okay, then he's fine with it. Let's keep the baby. But this person was absent. Of course. This person was absent. Like, and it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy because I'm laughing at it now. Thank you, Jesus. I can laugh about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing at it now because he was absent in my life. But this person at the time was trying his hand at music. 
And I remember because it, this was around December. My baby came in March. So around December, you can tell I was very, mm-hmm. very, very, very heavily mm-hmm. pregnant. I didn't hear, he was an only child. I didn't hear from his mom. I didn't hear from him. And I thought oh, maybe something really happened. Because then his mom now gave my mom the sub story that, oh, her leg broke. So her son is taking care of her. So mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, he's really not able to come. Mm-hmm. Only for me to go on Facebook. And I what found out that this person was doing tours oh, she, in on. December when me I was heavily pregnant. So I was like, oh, ah, oh, I oh, and they lay you. So I was like, okay. So I think it was at that time I was just like, you know what? This person's out of the picture, you know. But because um, I didn't want to raise a child by myself. Mm. I didn't want, I tried not to, oh, I don't want to raise, I don't want to be a single mom like my mom because mm. I don't want her to feel like, Mm. You know, every I, because my mom, eh, very strict person. So I was, I was still trying to like see how we could make it work. So I had the baby. So obviously, like he wasn't in the picture. Wouldn't even call me. Like that was like the craziest part. It's like how do you? You already have a child before. It's not like me. I've so not experienced yeah, it this before. Is, this, this is not a new. It's not a new thing to you. you. Baba, just do better. Do you understand? Not even calls. And that was the part that baffled me the most. And it was crazy because his friend would call to check up on me. Wow. So I'm like, you, the actual owner of the picky. You <coughs> they know, are if you men even call, they are, men. they are men and they are men. Because I had a good man in my life at the time who was not the biological father of the child, but wanted to just make sure that I was good. I don't know why he felt like I needed help, mm. but he was very, very, like, he was very present. Like there's no me telling the story without mentioning him, because he didn't. We didn't have any ties. We were not dating. There was no reason for him to be there for me, like he was the father mm. of the child. Do you understand? So went through that whole December, January, February, and then in March, um, when I started going to hospital like a lot more frequently, when I had my baby, I think it was my mom. I don't even know who sent that work. She went to <laughs> call. She went to call his mom that I had given birth. Congratulations, it? I'm like, I was pissed off. I'm not even going to lie. Like, mommy, why do you tell them? The people that were not around. Mm-hmm. What are we calling to tell them for? And then that, that one too was like another episode, right? So he hadn't just, he hadn't been there. And then we tried to make him be there. And he's just still failed at it. He's like, you know what? I beg, Gaskia, let me just, day or day, make a day mm-hmm. by day. Say, day is something. We're going to be fine. Mm-hmm. God is good. God is faithful. Yeah, and he will he never is. give you more than you can handle. Mm-hmm. So, True. No. True. Nope. Okay, so I wanted to ask, uh, I'm, I'm asking, not wanting to. Mm-hmm. You said you tried to get rid of the pregnancy. Mm-hmm. After, the, after um, our girl was born, mm-hmm. she's healthy. She's fine. Nothing. So nothing affected her. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know. Yeah. Okay, so you sent her to stay with your mom? Okay, yes. Why? Ha. Huh. You know, I said that that one was another episode. So after having her, I wanted to go back to school. Mm-hmm. But we, we had to, I mean, I also knew I wanted to breastfeed her very well. Mm-hmm. So I did that. And then. So you did the exclusive? Yes. We are strong. <laughs> Never again. Never again. <laughs> no, so I, I think for me was because I knew that um, she wouldn't be with me because mm. I wanted to school. Mm. So I was just like, the least I can do is yeah. at least do exclusive and then before I not let her fair, go. Fair, yeah. that's fair. But in, in, my, in the same vein, I was also thinking, um, let's see if we can make it work. With the same person, I would not deal. Hi. It's the hope that kills. Do you get? Mm. I was just saying, yeah, let me see if we can make it work. So, um, we said, so we had a, like a, all these big uncles mm. that I could live with in Lagos. Mm-hmm. But um, baby daddy at the time was saying, oh, we should try and make this work. So I'm like, okay, no problems. I remember my mom's friend that told me at the time, she, she lives outside Nigeria, but she came home. And she told me, do you think you are married this guy? I'm like, yes, I want to make it work. I want my, my, my daughter to be raised by her father. And she goes, okay, do this experiment. Mm. Go live with them for three months. If you survive three months, then by all means, marry the guy. Was I, And I promised, like my mind, I was not even trying to not make it work because I was actually trying. I was going from Iju Shaga to University of Lagos every day. So I was actually trying to make it work. I was trying so hard. Ah, I was, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. How, how, how long did it last? Three months. You stayed three months. Gay. As in, you, you actually the did the dots. three months. Wait, but at this time, your your daughter was with you. 
Yeah, so, so I was living with them. There. Them, him and his mom. Wow. So it was himself, his mom, yourself, and, and your daughter. Mm-hmm. Mad. Oh. Mad, very mad. It was very you mad. You went from all the way. It was, I, was, I, was always, really I was going to school every single day. It's crazy. I Carry on. I had to go Carry to on. school. <laughs> I had to go to school. And then, um, so it was in this period that we now had like a lot of back and forth and back. And, and I feel like, like I said, I'm a team positive do, energy. Yeah. I'm team positive energy and I'm p- team do what you're, mm. what's expected yeah. of you. Yeah. If you're not able to do, do communicate part. with the person that, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not able to do it this time. But you cannot now come and be using pride for me now. <laughs> we just saw. You can't come and be using pride for what me. What did you just say? Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you Show cannot off. come and be using pride for me. It's not possible. You know, so we'd have a lot of unnecessary back and forth about and my daughter. Hey, mama did not take the cheap baby food. Oh, she posh babe. It's come a on. pricey one. <laughs> that one that starts with SM. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It was that gay. That one, that's what she wanted. She used to finish two uh, Monday, Tuesday, half of half will remain for Wednesday. Then we'll buy another one on Wednesday to finish Friday. on Friday. Mm-hmm. Because Saturday or Sunday, I was always home. That was, that was the only thing she was taking. So it was also costing a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Aside from me going to school every day. But basic things like that. But no. You're so it's like taking care of all that. Yes. It was me and my friends and my mom. So it's like, why am I now Here. in your space? Like the responsibility I'm even hoping that you will be gingered to as a man to do. You do not know, not even. I'm like, well, I beg, look at the carry my car and be going. That leaving, leaving, leaving. Ah, oh, I collected my child from me. I said that I should come and collect her. Ah, uh, he took me. your child. He took my child from me. I said I should come and collect. I said it's like, what you don't understand me. I know it's to fight though. No, no, no. I'm a good game. My mother raised me. Well. But you see, if you talk about my child, <laughs> if you ha ha ha, that's where you will, you will see devil. You will see fire. I'm like, I don't understand. We've tried to make this work. This is not working. Let me get me raising a child on my own now. And then that was another long, dramatic waiting period. But God gave me wisdom. I was able to get my child away from them. And then I was just like, so I was living outside school. And it was just a conversation. Of, my friend was not even complaining. But I'm like, I don't know. This doesn't make sense. Why would I bring my child to come and now still be you know, stressing you outside of school. We're supposed to be, we're living together. So it didn't make sense that I would not invite a child into the picture. So I prayed hard, spoke to my mommy a lot about it, spoke to friends, and we just concluded the best thing. Thank, thankfully, I had breastfed her for longer than three months, oh. almost like seven months now. So we're like, you know what, it's time. Let's give her to mom, see. <laughs> Since she was already taking baby food, it just made sense to at least now win her completely mm, and yeah. just let her go with mom, see. And I remember that day, I, went, I had to go and drop her for mom, see, at the bus stop in in Yaba. Because mom, see, came from. So it was a conversation of, come halfway, let me meet you halfway. Mm. So mom, see, came to Lagos. I went to Yaba, give her to mom, see. Mom, see, carried her home. And since then, it's just been... Me doing the back and forth. And then she came to Lagos last year for Christmas. 